If it's okay with you, I can share some of the stats uh, that, that you had. Uh, I don't oh, know yeah. if you were, you were using, you were seeing your numbers or not regularly, uh, but it was very... Uh, initially, you know, my rank was very bad. I think it was uh, in the hundreds and all, and then gradually it became better and better. And I was, um, I was very happy to see that, and it made me very confident also. Yes, yes, it's, it's it's very very impressive to see how your uh, rank and progression throughout, uh, and and particularly so. Okay, let me uh, just share some some numbers. So, uh, can you see the screen? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see that, sir. Okay, okay. So, um, you know, first of all, just seeing your success rate, like. I, I don't know if you saw this graph too regularly. Uh, this is this is a graph of your success rate by the difficulty of the questions, and uh, you know we give a range of numbers that you should be better than or you should try to be better than, and it's very rare that when you see being consistently higher than these numbers. So. You know, you got most of the easy questions and the moderate questions are correct. But then yes, hard and very hard questions are, it's difficult to get them right. And you were above the range consistently too, right? Oh, but, yes. You know, we always so say that, that, you know, easy and moderate, you can not, if you're being less than uh, these numbers will totally kill your rank. But if you are okay. very good at these hard ones, then that's when you start getting very good rank. Um, so uh. this was this was very impressive, and and I know why this was. Uh, you know, you got these numbers. If you actually look at the number of questions you attempted on pulp, um, yeah. around fifty-seven thousand attempts. Uh, yes, sir. That that is so impressive. And what's bigger over here, like to, to me, what's more impressive, and I'm not seeing that too many times, right, is the yes, number sir. of revisions you did. So there are almost 30,000 revisions, which is, you know, questions that you might have most likely made a mistake and then you corrected. Or yes, sometimes sir. we, because we repeat questions that you get yeah. wrong. Or we even repeat the same questions you get wrong, you correct it, but we we try to see was this a fluke? And in us after some space, we'll do a repetition again. The algorithm takes care of it. Uh, so this was very, very impressive in our prep DNA to, to see the number of attempts. So it's your hard work, Lavanya. I mean, Thank it's, you. Thank it's, you so it's all, all your hard work. Um, also, uh, this is your prep DNA. Whenever we see this green and yellows, there are hardly yeah. any orange. There's barely any orange that I see over here, which is which is very impressive too. Um, it shows your consistency that uh, you, you put very hard. And finally, I'll say like if I you know I double clicked into some of the subjects too, and yeah. uh, like you know this is a this is one of the subjects in orthodontics, right? And you can see yes, that sir. across the board, it's uh, it, it's good performance. And then, you know, I drill down further, deeper too. I won't uh, keep going on this, but uh, just on you know the attempts. There are uh, in each subject. This is three thousand five hundred almost attempts within orthodontics, and then there are seventeen eighty revisions. Uh, and uh, the story keeps going on and on. So anyway, I wanted to especially talk with you uh, because of um, when I saw your metrics too, we can already predict that uh, this person is going to do very well in the test, right? Wow. Thank so, you, sir. 